Howdy everybody, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you back to Super Mario Odyssey Blind. Although, can you really say it's blind anymore when last time we uh, got up to 999 power moons? Where's my list for that? I guess it's just on the sale of the Odyssey, that's right. So I'm back here now for my first, possibly only, I'm not sure how this is going to go, a uh, bonus video. Because even though we completed Darker Side and... Um, and all the little extra little bonus things after Darker Side in the last video, there still remain a couple of things unaccounted for. The, f the biggest one is going to be the Twitter hint art, which I've been sent courtesy of my uh, good friend in the comments down there, Wario Land Gold Pyramid. I've got it open on my computer over here. There's 20 in total, and I've perused them a little bit just to sort of get an idea, and some of them seem fairly straightforward. And then some of them I honestly just have, like, no idea, so it's going to be an interesting experience for sure. But before we do that, there's a couple, and literally a couple things, that I want to cross off my list. Specifically off of the capture list and the music list. You can see up in the top right there, we got 51 out of 52 and 81 out of 82, so we need one more of each of these. So this was this one here, number 41. And these do go, it looks like they go in sequential order here. So, like, because this is like Snow Kingdom, then Seaside, Luncheon, and then it goes into Bowser's Kingdom. So it's either in Bowser's Kingdom or in the Luncheon Kingdom, by the looks of things. But I'm wondering what it could be. It's obviously not one that's, like, required in order to beat the game. Otherwise, we would have gotten it by now, for sure. What is, is there, like, an enemy in either of those kingdoms? Like I, th I think when I think of enemies that I can that I couldn't capture, like the Stairface Ogres, I don't think that's it. Um, there's uh those weird hot tamale things in the Luncheon Kingdom. There was the uh, in the Luncheon Kingdom as well. There were the piranha plants, but we actually got that transformation here. Um, well, actually, this one says poison piranha plant. Now that I'm looking at it. Whereas the ones in the Luncheon Kingdom don't spit poison, they spit hot bars. Actually, they spit fire. <laughs> Literal fire. So that might be an avenue worth pursuing. Actually, before I go, though, I am wearing this gold outfit because, I mean, I completed the game and I think gold is just only fitting. But I want to mix things up a little bit, so let's just go ahead and throw in our random outfits here, see what we get. And it'll keep randomizing itself when we die as well. What? <laughs> All right. I mean, we're dressed for a day at the beach, but we got that wide brim hat so we don't burn. It's the kind of hat that I would have to wear to the beach, or else put on like SPF 100 sunscreen for my delicate ginger skin. All right, so I am going to go off this. This is the only lead I can think of so far. We're going to go off to the Luncheon Kingdom and see if this is the ticket. So there are a few fire piranhas, but they're towards the like back end of this kingdom, so we're going to have to go... I'm gonna go ahead and warp over in that direction and see what's what. Like, what's the best place to probably go? I guess the start of the peak climb, because that'll put me right at the base where all the little islands are. And the reason I didn't... I mean, the reason I know that I didn't capture the uh, poison piranhas before was because, like, you throw Cappy at them, and then they just eat them, and it's like, om nom. <laughs> and then you, you don't capture it. So I just assumed you couldn't capture them. But we learned in that one small world that you can actually use rocks... These rocks right here, as a matter of fact, well, I would like to actually pick one up if I could. And then you can sort of toss this. Uh, okay. Well, this is going to be a little harder than I surmised, I guess. Oh, just kicked it right back into my hands. That was a nice little trick shot. All right, buddy. Yep. All right, we got that. Capture you. And I can spit. I mean, I can spit that out first and foremost. And so we can spit fire here. So I would have to assume that this is a different transformation. You get out of here. Oh man, fire piranha, friendly fire. Oh, that doesn't hit though. <laughs> like, what's the point of turning it? I guess the point of turning to this guy is so that you don't have to like lure the fireballs out and you can like do this for this moon instead. I guess that's probably what you're intended to do, I guess. Although, are you really intended to do it, to do anything in this game? There's so many different paths to take, so I don't know. So I'm gonna assume, let me check my list now. That, uh, yeah. I mean, that's a full capture list right there. Fire piranha plant, huh? I'm, so, I'm actually kind of surprised, kind of stunned that I managed to unravel that one as quick as I did. 
Just like, I guess, process of elimination. Can we do the same sort of thing for the music list then? We got 81 out of 82. We were missing one. It was in the Moon Kingdom, right? Which seems weird. There's like no areas in the Moon Kingdom. I thought it was going to be from uh, from that Bowser painting that we unlocked in the, in the last video. But there was no new music from that. So it's between Honeyloon Ridge Escape and Escape 8-Bit. Which kind of reminds me, because we got like... Like, this escape song is the same as the Jump Up song. Or a similar style, anyway. NDC Festival, this one. Okay, oh, this is interesting. I, there's a little pattern here, you see this? So you got NDC Festival, then Japanese, then 8-Bit. Whereas this one, we got Escape... What should be Escape Japanese, I guess, maybe? And then Escape 8-Bit. So where in the friggin' world do you find Escape in Japanese, if that is indeed the case. Well, I remember that we got, uh... We got this one, NDC Festival Japanese. We got that from a boombox in the Mushroom Kingdom, right? Where they randomly hit it. So that would make sense to me, if that's one that we missed. If from, like, a boombox or something, because... I mean, that seems like a relatively easy one to miss, to be quite honest. But what boombox can we hit? Will it be the same one in the Mushroom Kingdom? Maybe I can go hit it now that I've... Like, uh, now that I've heard that song. Well, no, that would make sense, because I'd already heard that song initially. I'm going to go ahead and check out the Mushroom Kingdom anyway, just to, on the off chance here. I don't know if I can cycle through the different songs by, like, slapping the mu uh, the boombox with Cappy, or what, but... Back at the Mushroom Kingdom. That <laughs> freaking top hat, I totally forgot about that. On top of Peach's Castle, it's so cool, dude. Oh, I'm still sort of riding the high of having beaten this game. I can't believe it's all done. It's all done. But there's still, like, so much I feel like I could do in this game. Like, so many, like, self-imposed challenges and Balloon World is always at my fingertips. So, yeah, it was this boombox here. If I hit this again, it's just going to play, uh... Yeah, that's just... Fe okay, that's, this is Festival, the Japanese, right? Yeah. What if I hit it again? No, it's just going through the same song. Unless it's just random. I mean, if it is random, that's like a really unlucky roll to get the same song like four times in a row. So I don't think that's it. So where else is there a music box that might play, um... That might play something like that. I, d I mean, there's like a music box in just about every kingdom, right? So... Is there maybe one in the Moon Kingdom itself? Huh. I'm just gonna go ahead and I guess I'll, I'll start Kingdom hopping here. I'm gonna check the Moon Kingdom first. Cause I guess that would make the most sense, right? Unless, is there one in Darker Side? Or Dark Side or anything like that? Is there a boombox there? That would kind of make sense. I'm gonna pop over to Darker Side just to, just to see. I don't think there is. Is it just like a random boombox somewhere? I don't know, dude. Um, I'm gonna go to the Wooded Kingdom just because I know it's a random kingdom to like check, but I know for a fact there's a there's a boombox over here, so I'm I don't know. <laughs> just going by uh, I mean this could be the entirely wrong path to pursue anyway. This might not be, even be. It makes sense for its placement in the music list that this would be the Japanese version of uh of the Escape song. But, I mean, I might just be off my rocker here, who knows. Oh, wait. Is this it? I mean, this is Escape, but is it is it the Japanese version is the question, I guess. Sounds like it to me, I'm not understanding a word. Look at Mario dancing, it's freaking the flip freaking flippers. Oh my god, the little plastic orange flippers going back and forth like Oh. That's, there's something so hilarious about that. So is that gonna be our music list complete then? Well there you go. Just had to pop over to the wooded kingdom and randomly smack smack this. I wonder if you could do it with other boom boxes like around. I bet you probably could. Like it didn't have to be specifically this one, but I mean I'm glad this one worked out at the end of the day, I guess. 
Well, that actually did not take very long at all to find. I've expected both of those things to individu individually take quite a bit of time, but even both together, I'm smarter than I think, I guess. Of course, now we get to find out how smart I really am as I start piecing together these hint arts. So, I'm going to go ahead and swap my outfit. I think I'm just going to swap my outfit. I'm going to go random it up every time between these hint arts just to, just to mix things up, you know? We got that polygonal hat. What a random combination. I mean, it's literally the definition. <laughs> it is a random combination. So, as I do each of these hint arts from Twitter, which lead to, I'm not even sure what they lead to, <laughs> to be honest. Apparently, like, Nintendo posted these on the Twitter a while back, and, um, and they just lead to little secrets, as far as I know. But as I go through each one of these, I'm going to post them up on screen. So let's post the first one right here, and let's, uh, so what this looks like to me... Immediately, I'm stricken by the in by the images of the pyramids, obviously. So that reminds me of the Sand Kingdom. But... Is there, like, a little pyramid like that? Like, I know this, the one on the right there, is probably the bigger pyramid, like the main pyramid. But is there a small pyramid that, like, sort of lines up like that? I, I'm not sure, but that's my first inclination, so I'm gonna go off to the Sand Kingdom. Tostarina, as they call it and see what's what. Right out here in the Sand Kingdom. So I do see a few potential sort of platforms. Where is it? It's like in line with the small platform. Okay, so what we want is we, we got the big pyramid there, obviously. Oh, is it this island here? I mean, that kind of... I don't know if you can get them in the same shot, but it kind of lines up right, and it's like a little small island. So it should be like, judging by the hint art, it should be on the underside of this island, of the little one over here. Let me just sort of round pound beneath the tip, if that's indeed the case. So let's get under the shadow over here. I'll be amazed if I get this like on my first try here. I don't even know what I'm expecting to see, but let's, let's try it. Oh! Hi! <laughs> okay, well I guess I got that right then. So you get the Luigi sticker out of it, and you get a bunch of friggin' coins, so that's gonna be interesting for sure. <laughs> that's cute. We'll call, we'll, we'll call that one hint art down then. I wonder, is it gonna be the same for each, uh, for each hint art, do you think? Or is it gonna be, are they gonna be different little secrets? I wouldn't be, ma be mad either way, it's just a fun little diversion at the end of the day, but... And it helps you get some coins if you really need it. So we will take that now as I go back and uh, re-randomize my outfit for the next one. Let's throw that up on screen right now. This looks uh, like 100% to me like it's got to be the, the Cap Kingdom. I'm going to have to explore a little bit to find out exactly where in the Cap Kingdom. But um, once I get over there, it should be a little more obvious, I think. Arr, matey! <laughs> We're going for... Uh, we're going for a lovely little vacation to Sirena Beach today. <laughs> Just because I'm your pi- I'm your <laughs> fearsome pirate captain doesn't mean I can't rock this, uh, sunshine shirt from time to time. Anyway, over to the Cap Kingdom we go. See you there. So looking at this, at the hint art again, um, I might just have it, like, in the corner of the screen for, for all these or something. I don't know how I'm going to do it exactly, but whatever whatever I've, I've probably decided by now because you're seeing the video. Anyway, it looks like, so there's, like, a crescent moon shape, obviously, and then there's something off to the right that I think I initially thought was a bonitor, but looking a little close, it might be one of these, uh, one of these capped paragoombas. One of these guys here. It looks like more like one of them from a bird's eye view. So where... I was just looking on the map to see if there's anywhere that kind of lines up like that. So there's this like a location that looks like a crescent moon, but there's nothing on here that specifically looks like a crescent moon. The closest would be like this thing. The Top Hat Tower, which is like a circle, and part of it, like, if you cut out a sort of different section of it, then it could be a crescent moon. I don't know, it doesn't have, like, the right pattern on the ground here. You can see all those crisscrossing lines. It doesn't quite line up with what we would expect to see. 
If nothing else, I can get a good bird's eye view up here. Like, see, that's the sort of, uh, that down there, the pattern on the mainland down there. You can see the different varying, varying colored stripes is a little more in line with what we want to see. So let me go ahead and hop on down there. Geronimo! Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. It might be... Could it be this area? Hmm. Like, this kind of lines up, interestingly. No, not quite. I'm looking at the different stripes on here, and it doesn't quite work out. It's a little too small, but it's the right sort of shape. And it looks like there's, like, a little... It's not just a straight-up crescent moon. It's like there's a little bulge in the... Sort of in the divot of the crescent moon. I could try, like, right here, I guess, just to see. No, I don't think this is quite right. You know what? It might be that uh, if I can find a good, if I can find a Paragoomba to get around the other side of the Top Hat Tower here, because isn't there that platform around the back side that has a? I think it might be this, a similar sort of shape, and it's um, and there's a Paragoomba that flies nearby, because you need the Paragoomba to fly nearby in order to actually be able to fly back if you lose the initial Paragoon Bay you used to get over here, right? Like, this island right here seems like it lines up pretty well. Yeah, this has got to be the one. And it's like right at the tip of this triangle here. Sort of. I mean, this this feels right. A little further out. There you go! I, I, I knew it looked too perfect. I wasn't about to give up on this area, because I knew that had to be right. Thank you again, Luigi. You think Luigi himself went and planted all these little Twitter hint arts? Wouldn't be surprised. He's one conniving son of a gun. Who, me? Oh, shucks. Alright, so that's 2 out of 20. I mean, we got a ways to go still here. And all, not all of these are going to be the same difficulty. Uh, the third one here, they're throwing up on screen now. This is, I mean, it's got to be the Seaside Kingdom. How could it not be? So, and I think I have a pretty good idea of actually where it is in the Seaside Kingdom as well, so... Let's, uh, let's make hay while the sun shines, as they say, <laughs> with my man. This is like, this is like the outfit that, like, uh, a kid who's, like, going to help his, uh, mom in the kitchen or something, help, him, help her make dinner, but he's still, like... He has his, he still, like, wants to play. So he's, like, got his, like, awesome Space Command costume on, or his Space Man pajamas or whatever. But he's got the, he's got the chef hat just to go with it. Because you can't help Mom cook without a chef hat. Of course not. So, what this looks like to me, for this hint art, is, uh... It's actually an area that I think I was looking for a moon previously when I came through this kingdom. It's like, because there was that one that was, like, uh, up on a dangerous ceiling or whatever. And there's, like, a under, little underside cavern. Let me actually not get one of these guys. I was going to try and, like, take one of them to go find a cheap cheap, but there actually happens to be a cheap cheap right here. So, let me take this guy. So there's, like, this cavern way over here. Not this one down here. Actually, it might be this one down here. I'll take a look anyway. No, it's not this. This is too... too structured. We're looking for more of a natural cavern. I think it was, like, over this way? Not... because they're not... they're not upside down. Actually, unless the... unless the shot... Unless the actual, like, hint art itself, like, the perspective of it is upside down, which it might be. Looking at it, it kind of lines up with those three purple coins right there. A little bit. Let me take a look here. Like, right in this vicinity. Hmm. Maybe not. I'm trying to look at the background. I don't... Th I actually don't think that this is... That the perspective... Like, the perspective of the shot is what I was trying to say. It looks like it could be upside down, but I don't know if it actually is for sure. So let me peruse a little more. It might be... Like, I feel like there was this area, but then there's another area of a similar caliber. Just, like, around the other side. This is the this is the actual one where the moon was, I think. 
like under a dangerous ceiling, right? Yeah, there you go. There's that. Does this line up right, though? Like, what am I looking for here? In the background, I'm looking at the background and trying to parse together what's going on back there. Parse together, piece together. <laughs> That's what I should have said. I just like using the word parse because it makes me sound fancy. It's not the. It's not this. It's not. It's yeah. It's 100 percent not. It looks like it should be this one. Like it really should be. Like I'm trying to line it up here and see if I can get that that perspective that they have. I think it is this, it's, and the perspective is inverted. Which would, hmm. Like, this looks so right to me. It, but it's, it says it's under those, or is it at the edge of the purple coins? Like, right here sort of thing? Oh, there you go! It is! I thought, like, the perspective was, like, making, making it look like that X was in the middle of the purple coin crater. But it's actually more on the edge of it. So that's really just my bad for messing up the... The initial perspective on that. That's a cool one. I like that. Like, because it's obviously in the Seaside Kingdom, but it's not entirely obvious through that little perspective issue. Just exactly what you gotta look for. That's a good one. Alright, next up, as we warp on back here, throw it up on the screen, we got very clearly... I mean, I'm pretty sure I know exactly where this one is. Like, the kingdom is obvious. It's the Metro Kingdom. We gotta go to New Donk City. Says it right there on the friggin' screen. And I'm, like, 98% positive that this is just the, uh, the logo that's on the ground in front of New Donk City Hall. We got this hat again. <laughs> what a random occurrence. I mean, that's the nature of true randomness, I guess. But yeah, I think this is just on the ground in front of the City Hall. Because so there is, like, this logo, or something similar to this logo anyway on the ground there, with all the stars ringing around it, so this one should be relatively easy, I think. I'm back, baby, here to donk these streets one more time. Actually, I think I might I might come back for another hint art down the way as well, because if I remember right, I per like I said, I perused all 20 of these hint arts beforehand, and I believe there might be another one in the, in the Metro Kingdom as well. So let's go ahead and roll on through here. Actually, let's not roll all the way, let's scoot the rest of the way. Riding style as you gotta do. Over to where Pauline is here. It's like, yeah, like there's there's this right here. Is that the is that just the right one? Like New Donk City. It's and it's uh it's this one here. Hmm. Two stars. Maybe it's uh more in line with like this. Okay. Maybe this isn't as simple as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it definitely looks right, obviously. Except for the fact that, um... Hmm. Like, this is undoubtedly the right thing. Except for the fact that New Dong City, like, the, the phrase of it, or the text of it, is not in the right sort of orientation as far as the hint art goes. It's not like this one up here, is it? I wouldn't imagine so. No, okay. Let me head inside here. Is there... Are there any decals like this on the inside? I mean, there's the one on the, up on the wall there. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be one on the ground, not on the wall. I just gotta wonder. I'm looking. I'm looking for one that has that same, uh, the same text in the same orientation. There's New Donk City just straight across, like that. But I don't know. Like it seems like so fitting that it should be this one, but clearly not. Oh wait. Okay. I see it in the pool over there. That actually lines up. Pretty much a hundred percent with uh with with the hint art here because it's got the text in the right orientation. Give it to me. There you go. 
I just had to get a little bit more of a bird's eye view in order to figure that one out. We got max friggin' coins here already. This is a little much. Uh, I guess with these max coins, I can check and see. I don't know if I'm actually able to buy any more moons. That's one of the questions I actually had, one of the lingering thoughts in my mind. Um, at the end of, uh, at the end of everything. Is whether you can buy moons beyond 999. Something tells me no. But I gotta try and spend these coins on something, right? Let's see here. Um, I mean, I, I appear to be able to. Let me try it, I guess. So what you wanted, I'll buy one. Thanks. Does that does that actually bump up my power moon count, or is that gonna be shopping in New Donk City? I mean, that's another one on the on the list. I mean, <laughs> I'll go dunk it just to see. Cause like in that in that case, where does it end, man? Where how at what point do you stop being able to to put power moons into the Odyssey? Or is this just gonna like do something else, or is it not going to increment the counter when I put them in? I'm very curious to find out here. It's a learning moment for you and me both. Actually, maybe not for you. You might already know. Put it in. See that number take up to the fourth digit, maybe? Nope. Okay. So there's there's really no reason to buy power moons, other than the fact that you can, and it's a way to spend your money. But I don't need to spend the money. Like, I'll be... Yes, the coins that I get from these hint arts will be going to waste, because I have max coins. But, um... But I don't need coins for anything else, so I don't really care if they go to waste at this point. And this is more just for the thrill of the hunt than anything else.